last weekend I went into the um, practice what you preach kind of mode. I'm an advocate of positive mental health because you can't do anything if you're mentally unstable. So how do we balance that with how chaos the world is? Parent, as a student, as an entrepreneur, you know, the business is being affected with the, you know, high prices and so many things. So how do you maintain that positive mental attitude? Hello warriors, are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shio Obishe Son and if you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back. Today, I'm going to talk about how to have a positive mental attitude. Number one, lean into nature. Lean into nature. I'm not really a kind of person that will say, oh, let's go into the bush somewhere. Um, I'm sorry if that sounds offensive. But nature is good. And aside that, it's free. You can walk through the park. No one's going to charge you. You can, you know, walk around anywhere. No one is going to charge you for it. Because nature has this calming, you know, feeling around it. Like some people with the sound of the waves walking around the stream or something. It relaxes them. And nature gives you the opportunity to kind of, you know, extract some negative energy away from you because all you can see is just nature natural stuff when you lean into nature it gives you a positive mental attitude it relaxes you when you experiment different type of areas that's when you know which one actually suits you best number two break a sweat exercise just something to make you sweat whether it is walking. Um, I remember I was saying to a lady and I said, oh, the weather was so bad. I couldn't go for a walk. I don't really exercise that much because I have a bad back. And she said I should have just stand in front of my TV and just, you know, just march in front of my TV. Just move your body. Our body is not created to be, you know, stagnant in a way to be fixed in a way we're supposed to move it and when we don't move it you you will notice your mental health will be all over the place give this a try wake up in the morning go off for a walk come back in have a shower and go about your business and then another time don't go for a walk and see how your body will feel like of course, if you're the type that usually go for regular walks, you feel lighter in your body. And then there's a lot of things that affect our mental health to make um, our mental health unstable because of different things that is happening around us. And some of us, maybe because we're parents, you're not just minding yourself, you're minding other people. If a student is getting close to the Christmas exam now, and even if it's not getting close, appearing in college appearing in the university attending classes is exhausting and this can give you a negative you know mental attitude because you'll be able to feel the stress and then if you don't have a way it's like information in information out when you get in some things you have to something have to leave you if they don't leave you you're going to explode when you have too much stock up in there Number three, practice gratitude. What are you grateful for? Like I watched a clip from uh, Oprah Winfrey and she was talking about, don't even say, oh, I thank God for good health. Mention it. I thank God because I was coughing last week and thank God is not um, COVID. I thank God because um, I had an operation on my knee. And something like that, be specific in your gratitude. The ability to have cold for three days and today you are better. It's something a lot of people don't have that opportunity. 
the ability to eat and be able to go to the toilet easily it's something a lot of people don't have so don't underestimate your abilities when you when you give gratitude for what you have it makes you happy because you'll be able to count things that are in your possession that you just because you're focusing on what you don't have. So gratitude gives you the opportunity to focus more on what you have rather than what you don't have. Number four, talk and be open. I know some people will say when you share your story, people are going to mock you. People are going to talk about you. People will mock you regardless. If you're doing well, people are going to mock you. If you're not doing well, people are going to mock you. Whatever that happens to you, so you cannot be everybody's cup of tea. But if you are loaded, like negatively loaded, you need to have people that you can talk to. I think there are a lot of um, uh, online um, hotlines, numbers that you can call and even just talk to somebody over the phone if you don't want to share with people who are close to you. But it would be better for you to just open up. It might even be simple things like maybe you're married and your husband doesn't know how to you know, close the lid on a toothpaste tube. Maybe you're a student and the lecturer is known giving you an extension and you have personal issues that you're going through. Just talking about it we we calm you down. And then that's an opportunity for you to be able to keep going because if you're stuck, you can't go further. And life goes on regardless. So whether you are in life, you have to be in it you have to enjoy you have to understand what you're doing because if you break down there's nothing more you can do number five seek out good news seek out good news bad news travels faster than good news i'm sure you know that by now if you're celebrating your birthdays if you're doing stuff a lot of people don't celebrate you as he like I mentioned something one time like, why do we gather so much at funerals? People say they want to give their last respect. So don't wait until bad things happen before you reach out to people. I might be guilty as well. But at the moment, I'm maintaining my mental health. I am not mentally capable to carry a lot of people. So, and I know that for myself, if that is what you're doing, Keep to that. Don't seek, even when you're watching the news, don't look for bad news all over the place. Look for good, positive, things that will give you positivity. Because whatever you feed yourself with is what you're going to be thinking about all the time. So look forward to positive news. Don't spend so much time in negative conversations because that could have fed you. can think, oh, I'm just talking about it. It's nothing. A day or two, you begin to feel you know, uneasy with yourself because you do so much in negativity. So for you to have a positive mental attitude, you need to seek positive news, seek out for good news. When people are celebrating, when people are happy, share in the happiness. Oh, you look so happy today. How are you doing? And they will share something and you'll be able to feel it as well. And don't be a carrier of bad news. It doesn't help anybody. Number six, nourish your body and your soul. How do you nourish your body? You take care of your body. You take care of yourself. You eat right. You drink right. You do what you're supposed to do. How do you take care of your soul? You feed your soul with things that we, you know, make your soul clean. Like in the case of with good news, reading good content, you know, spending much time meditating, taking care of yourself. Be careful what information comes to you. Whatever you listen to, whatever you see, have a way of staying with you. Whether with a small percentage of it, it's going to stay with you. It's going to stay in your brain. So nourish your body. Exercise is part of nourishing your body. Know what to put in your mouth is part of nourishing your body. You don't just have to take care of yourself. And part of it, there are still some places like in medical centers where you still have to wear your marks. You just have to obey and do what is right for you and also consider other people. And this will give you a positive mental attitude. 
because you're taking care of yourself, you're taking care of your soul, and you're just living well. Number seven, that's my final point, let go of what you cannot control. If you have a situation, whether somebody's going through something, you think you can help them, of course you can help them. If you cannot, you know, handle it, let go. If you cannot handle it, let go. Don't worry too much on things that you are not able to do. Because if you can't, you can't. Like, let go of things you can't undo. Like you're looking forward to buying a new pair of shoe. You don't have the money. Don't be thinking, oh, I don't have the money. Like, the world is not going to come to an end because you didn't buy a pair of shoe. Whatever situation that you cannot undo, like if you have some friends that don't want to be your friends anymore, it's their decision, it's their choice. You cannot, you know, go overboard for someone else's decisions. And there are some things in your personal life that you just have to let it fly. So you'll be able to take care of yourself. If you're still watching up to this moment and you've gained a value from this video, interact with me in the comment section. If you have any point for other people to be able to have that uh, positive mental attitude, you can share with us in the comment section. And a tip, learn to mind your business. If you are not told, if you are not involved, that means you're not important in the plan. Stay in your lane. Mind your business. When people involve you in things, be 100% available. When people don't want you to know anything, be happy. Anytime they want you to know, they let you know. Don't be snooping around trying to gather information. It's not necessary. It's a waste of time. Learn to mind your business. Your business are things that you know that are in your control. So learn to mind your business and you'll be at peace with yourself. Till I come your way again, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, warriors.